Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One in my old barn door, and uh, we are on, I think, video four of our ring binder series. So, um, just wanted to come back and do a follow up and show you what I do with the pages. So, I'm just going to bend this real easy uh, because yesterday, um, which was when I did the last video, we, um, we put the the vine or the fabric on the spine so and I like that I think it looks good with that fabric on the spine so today we are going to start organizing our papers into our journal so I've pulled everything over and I'm just going to scoop this to the side this I got in a pack um, of Walmart uh, Walmart <laughs> in a Walmart pack no not kidding I mean not really I'm kidding <laughs> I ain't talk today. I got it in a pack of wallpaper I bought from Selena's shop. So I pulled this out because it's super cool. I love the way it feels and it's pretty. Goes perfect with uh, a country style um, recipe type journal. So I'm going to put this in here too. But for now, I am going to. What I want to do first, I'm going to pull all of these out and sit them to the side because I want to pull out all of my design paper first. So we're going to pull that first. I'm going to sit these to the side because what I like to do is kind of organize the way I want my design paper in the journal first and then I go back in and I add the book pages to it. So that's what we're going to do here and this one I want to fold in this way just pull that out so I am just going to fold it in about here oops and we will burnish it just so we get a good crease and then this one I'm gonna fold the opposite direction do I want to fold it this way or this I think I want to fold it this way so let's go here and I'll fold it to about right here and then just burnish it so we get a good crease and then what I like to do is I'm going to scoot this out of the way and I'm going to just lay out my paper so that I can kind of see what I have, so that I can see the colors that I have and what kind of mix of papers that I have. And then I start putting it in order. Um, and I don't know why I do this. It's just, I don't know if it's an OCD thing or what, but uh, because you know, you're gonna have the book pages in between, so it really doesn't matter. But I'm particular about it, so this is how I do it. And so I'm just gonna show you. That this is how I do it so um, what I like to do is I like to pick which which page I want to have first in my journal you know I want something with that wow factor so that when you first open your journal you get to see that page and it's like oh how pretty so you know something pleasing for a first impression type deal I guess so I'm thinking either this one or this one is what I want to be the first page. And then what I do is I'll take it and I'm gonna lay it right here. I'm gonna lay it up against my my front cover paper. I like that one up against that front cover paper because it has some of that green color from the green gingham in this little napkin here. So it kind of matches pretty well. Then I'm gonna take this one, lay it. Oh, that would be pretty too though. <laughs> So sometimes it's a hard choice, but I do think I want to go with this one. So we'll put this one in first. Ooh. And this one's double-sided. It has that really pretty rose-colored, or roses on that light blue-colored background. All right, so we've got our first page in. So now I can pretty much just start picking. Um, and what I try to do is do like different colors, like... I have a cream and then I want like the cardstock color and then maybe the green to add a little color and then I would probably go back and get another one of the creams 
and then maybe do maybe this cardstock color and then I like the cherries to go behind that and then behind the cherries I would probably put another cream and then this one and then I like this one and then I'll probably do cream and then the yellow and then the black so now this is the order that I want them to go in my book in so now I can just stack them up bring my book over let me see if I'm talented enough to do this because I'm just gonna try and put them all in the book at the same time there we go okay so now we have our design papers in the book. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to pull up my book pages. Here's all of our book pages that we picked out. And I'm going to start picking and choosing what's going to go where. Now, in the front of the book, I always like to have um, pages that are a little smaller um, than this first design page so that it kind of gives you, I guess you could call it like a waterfall effect, but it's just kind of stacked up. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my ring binder. And I think I would like this little pig to be in the front. And sometimes I will put them um, both in the ring and sometimes I'll just put like one in the ring and let it kind of angle out just for added interest, but I think with this one, I'm gonna put them both in the ring. And then, I don't want a wallpaper yet, I want some smaller pages. So I think I might, I kinda like this one to go here because it looks cute with that gingham, with that green gingham. So I'm gonna leave that for now, just simply because um, later on, I'll come back and I'm going to put like some, uh, like some children's flashcards or playing cards or something, something little in here. So you'll see what I'm talking about. But for now, we're just going to get it ready for the pages. So now, instead of having to open and close my binder rings so much, I'm just going to feed these to the other side and go to the next page. And I'm going to pick some book pages that I think I would like to match with this. And I think I wanna do a recipe page so that in the first little bit of opening the book, you kinda of see that, hey, it's a recipe binder. So we'll do a recipe, and I like the, the barn. So this kinda of gives you the idea of when you first start looking through your book, it's a country recipe book. Okay, and then I think I wanna do something small. So I'm gonna do this little book cover so that you can do mixed media on it and then we're going to flip the next page now i have some of these that are kind of long and i did that on purpose when i cut them because i wanted to get as much of the picture in as possible because i'm in house thinking cute is that picture you can't cut that so i decided i would leave it long and i'm going to put it on the rings and i'm going to fold it And it doesn't have to be, the fold doesn't have to come all the way out to the edge because I like for my pages to be different sizes in the journals. So we're going to do that one that way. I think I want this to go this way. And I think I want it to be on the second rings. So we'll put it here. And then I want a full page. So let's see what else we have. This one's cute, but it's another fold. I don't want two folds together. Um, ooh, I like this really, really old. That's super pretty. I think we're gonna put one of those in there. This is one of my favorite pages in this book. This was um, a really, really old, old book. Okay, and then since we have something with lots of color, I think we'll put a dictionary page here. Oh, and look, it has chickens, and then this dictionary page has the chicken coop. So we'll put that together. 
Okay, and then we're going to flip to the next page. Now we'll come back if we have pages left over once we finish this process. We'll come back and maybe add in some pages here and there. Okay, so this next page was just, I kind of like this craft color with the cow because it, it just looks pretty together to me. So we're going to put this here and then I'm going to take my book and I'm just going to fold this in and kind of match it up with the edge because I want as much of that cow picture to be able to show as possible. Okay, so we've got the little cow picture. And then, ooh, I think I want some wallpaper here. So let's put some wallpaper in. I have some of this really, really pretty, love, love, love that wallpaper. And does that scream country kitchen? <laughs> or probably more like a country dining room is what I would think. Oh, and then we need to add, we need to add some of these pages, but I don't think I want it right by the, um, the wallpaper because I don't want it to steal from each other. If you, if you kind of understand what I'm saying, like this would draw your eye and this would draw your eye. So I want something in between to kind of break it up. So I like one of the recipe pages. So I think we'll put that in. And now this wallpaper was on a roll, so it curls. But once you, you know, let your book sit flat for a while, it'll stop doing that. Okay, and then I love, love, love these. Super cool with the little chickens. I have this book. It's called, um, oh, what's the name of it? Something about apples. I mean, as you can tell, it's got apples all over the book pages. But they're super cute. Um, this was like a, like a little daily devotional type thing. So really, really cute. All right, so we've got three pages, three or four pages in there. So we need to flip to the next design page. And I think I want one of these here. Actually, I want one of these up against this because it's kind of your groceries together with your fruits and veggies. So we'll put that there. And then what else do we have? We have lots of goodies. Okay, this is cute. This is super cute. It is um, like that old country. This shows you how to make quilts, but look how pretty that picture is. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're going to put him here. But I want, I want something kind of small right here. So let me find my smaller pages here real quick. And this page is going to need to be folded. This is why I don't fold the pages yet, because I want to see... Some of the pages I'll go ahead and fold, but most of them I try to leave until I start putting them in the book so I can layer them the way I want them layered. So see, I've folded this one enough for this little jagged edge, which I love. I love the torn paper edges. So I folded it enough for that to peek through, and then you've got that other design paper right in behind it. And it just, to me, it's just it just adds to it. So now I want kind of a smaller page. So one with color and she's super cute she's in a um a loft of hay and look it has an apple in there so i guess you can get lots of apples in this book nan <laughs> so i like that and i like this one with the rice pudding recipe i just think that is so cute so we're gonna put that one on the bottom and that kind of breaks it up gives it more interest so now we're going to flip to our next design paper. And that's kind of the process of putting our pages into the book is, you know, you just kind of go with what's pleasing to your eye and you just keep adding until you think you've got enough. I had somebody ask me one time, well, how many, how much do I add to a journal? How many pages do I add to a journal? And I'm like, add until you feel like, you're done. It's pretty simple. So this was a little book that had little picture windows in it. And I thought it would be super cool to add some of these pages in here. Because look, you've got the chicken. You've got the frying pan with the egg. Then you've got the garland. And then you've got the hat, uh, like a garden hat. So um, I thought these would be cute to add in here. But I want to add them all together so that whoever gets it knows that, you know, this goes all together. And well, and, and Nan, you can, you know, of course, you can, it's your book, so you can move pages around 
however you feel like you want to move them around. So um, I do want a smaller page here. So we're going to pull from this quirky little um, uh, it was a mother goose book. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. So we're going to put this one here and this one here because see those pages go together but I want to offset them just to just for added interest. So that one will go there. And then we'll put these. So you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of building. So this is one size. This is a different size, but not quite as big as the design paper. So I want one more page that's kind of the size of the design paper to add that in here. And I think we'll do a recipe one. Ooh, I have these really, really cute. These are in a recipe book, an old recipe book, and they're pockets. So I think I want to add one of these in here, but I think I want this to be facing this design page. And then I want one more page in here. I think I want a recipe page. Something like this. I like it. I like this. And I'm going to put two of them together just because. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next page. Y'all, I am not a designer. I do this. I have it fly by the seat of my pants, so to speak. <laughs> but it usually turns out cute, so I'm going with it. All right, so I think I want another piece of wallpaper in here. <gasps> oh, I forgot to show y'all. I pulled from my very cherished Childcraft books. So, Nan, you know I love you very, very much because I love you enough to pull from my Childcraft book. <laughs> so, we're going to put this in here. And look, it's got potatoes. I thought that would be cute with a recipe journal because it's got the little potatoes on it. So, we'll put that in there. I think I want to put one of my Helen Steiner Rice poems in there. Psalm 23, one of my favorite scriptures. Of course, it's a very well-known scripture. And then we have these old people. Look how sweet he is. Is his smile not precious or what? So, um, look at the old barns. And you can tell this is kind of 80s because of the trucks. Um, but I love this. It, this came out of a book. And I just absolutely love it. So, we'll add that. And then I think I want a music sheet. I'm putting a lot in between here. But I think we're going to stop at the music sheet and go to the next one. Okay, so now we have Oh, here's a piece of wallpaper. So let's do this piece of wallpaper. And we'll do one of these kitchen tips sheets. And then I like this one because it says, eat it. <laughs> That's adorable. I think I'm going to go. I didn't punch that where I wanted it punched. Well, yeah, okay. That's good. And then we'll put one of these with the chickens. Oh, I missed a hole there. So we just got to go punch our hole in the bottom. I don't know how I missed that. Who knows? I was probably running my mouth. Okay, so we have that one, and then I want a page here with some color. So let me see what we've got down here on the bottom. Okay, this one's super cute. Isn't that adorable? This was from um, like a little book about America. It's got a lot of the country looking scenes and things like that, and it has some of the songs of America in it. So. That's super cute, and I like the way it's smaller than the design page. So we're just going to fold that one right there. And then we'll go to the next design page. Okay. Let's see. I want to do one of these Sears and Roebuck pages. I bought this Sears and Roebuck book from Mom. And look how stinking cute those plates are. This was, um, I believe, a 1969 Sears and Roebuck. But doesn't that just scream a little country kitchen? I love it. So we're going to put it in here. 
and I didn't want to cut it, so we're just going to fold it up just like this. I just couldn't bear to cut it. And see how I left the jagged edge of that Sears and Roebuck catalog where I ripped it out? I love that. I love the jagged edge. So I think I want something a little smaller right here first, though. So let me see what we can find. Okay, I have this really cool. It was just, this was like a huge, huge, for lack of a better word, it was like a pattern or um, like a blueprint. So I wanted to add some of this paper in here just because I think it's really cool paper. So this is going to have to fold a little more. Like that. And I don't think it'll hold, uh, hurt anything for it to be a little bit longer than the design paper because we're probably going to put some tabs and stuff in there anyway, so it'll kind of blend in. So let me see, what else do we have in here? I have Ideals Magazine pages. I have Sears and Roebuck catalog pages, book pages. Let's do another cookbook. No, let's do, wait a minute, let me see what we got. We have lots of pages, y'all. <laughs> um, don't be ripping pages, Diane. Okay, here we go. So I think I want to put my Helen Steiner. This is another. It's from a Helen Steiner Ross poem book. So I think I want that there. And then I wanted to put just some plain um, book pages that's just words. You know, so that you can cut them up and play with them in your book, use them for collage, or you can, you know, you can put pictures on them or whatever you want to use them for. But I want, I always like to put some plain pieces in so that you don't feel like, oh, I can't use that because it's too pretty. So we've got that there. And then I think I want this other part of this book cover to go here. And then the plate pages. And then we'll go to the next design page. Okay. So now, I think I want to do some of these Ideals Magazine pages. And again, I couldn't cut them. Look how pretty. It's called the good old days. Won't that be pretty up against that? So I think that's how I'm going to do that one. So we'll just fold this up. So that you don't have to cut off any of the picture. And then I think it might be okay to leave it this long. We may have to fold this edge a little bit when we close the book if it goes out too far past um, the book edge. So we'll just wait to kind of check that in a minute. And then I think I like this um, with the farm and the wheat field up against the craft paper because that just looks pretty together. So we're going to put that there. I want something small here. And I think I might use this here. Isn't she so stinking cute? So we'll put her here. And then I think maybe one more page in here. Let me see. I kind of want a recipe page. Or a recipe top page. Let me see. Or maybe we'll do one of these apple pages. I don't know yet. I'm just kind of flipping through to see what, okay. I like this one, but I don't like it up against this. So what I could do is put this here and one more page in between. Maybe like, yeah, let's do a recipe page in between. There we go. So now we'll go to the next design page. I love the back of this page. I hope y'all could, I hope I'm not out of frame. Okay, so I think up against this page, I want to add, y'all remember this little pancakes and applesauce little book pages that I said kind of go together? It's got the story of the three little pigs in it, and I left it together so I would know to put it together in the book. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, and I said I was going to probably separate it. Um, 
once I got it in the book where I wanted it. But I don't think I do want to separate. I think I want to leave them together and just let Nan decide if she wants them together or if she wants them apart. So there's her kind of like a little booklet type deal in the journal. And then the next thing I want to do, I want to add this little Sears catalog. Look at the little um, the furniture and then the, you've got the dining room table. So I thought that would be cute. Oh, there's two pages here. I didn't realize I had two pages. So we'll set that one to the side. Um, but yeah, we're going to put that there. And I think I'm going to fold this up here so that it doesn't crinkle at the bottom. But again, I didn't want to cut it. Okay, so we've got the little children's book pages. We have the Sears Roebuck page. Then I think I want... Um, I like this. I really, really like this. So I'm going to put this in here. Actually, I'm going to put it this way. Because I want it to fold this way so we're just going to fold that in then i want a full page here and i want something kind of oh this one's cute isn't she adorable with her little puppies this is an ideals magazine page so i think i will like that there and then we're going to fold it up right here and again We'll have to see. We may have to fold this in too. Um, but you can make little texts out of this. Or you can cut it off if you want to. Or make pockets. I try to leave some options open for people. So Then this was the back cover of one of those little recipe books. But I thought it was cute because it had the telephone numbers and all of that in it. So I want to put that right there. And then we're going to go to the next page. And then what do we want to put here? Oh, yes, I forgot about this. I love, love, love this old, old recipe page. It was originally blue, and it's that papery, that real papery. It almost feels like um, like the children's writing paper, not not the ones with the lines, but the children's like the little art pad. That's kind of what this paper feels like. But it's just yellowed over the years around the edges, so it's kind of the blue has faded. And I just love that, and I think it's cute with the chickens in it. So we're going to put that one right there. And then, I want this music page in here somewhere, but I think I want to add this here, because I think it looks cool with the blue. So we'll fold this over. Maybe put the music here, and then I want one more thing right here. Now y'all, if y'all look, you see how many pages I have left? I mean, I still have a whole bunch of pages, and that's what I'm saying when I when I say I always cut too many, or you know, I always pick too many pages. Ooh, I think we need him in here. <laughs> and then I want something with the little color, since this is this color. Even though we have a lot of color here, I want I want something up against this that has color on it, and I think I know exactly what I want. No, that's not enough color. I like these, but I just don't know that they go with this journal. So I might set these aside and use them in a different journal. Ooh. No. Looking through, trying to see what I've got. Oh, yes. A child craft book page. How stinking cute are these? I just love... Oh, and this one's El Eloise Wilkin. It's the little boy blue. All right, so we're going to go to the next. This is our last design page. And look how many book pages we have left over. I mean, there's a whole bunch of book pages left over, but that's okay. So, I think I want a, um, I didn't punch a hole in this wall, wallpaper. We'll wait on that. No, we're not. We're going to go ahead and, I think I want to go ahead and punch this. 
because I want this piece here. Okay. So put that piece here. Let's put mom cooking here because I like this page with all the cooking stuff. So I think I might put that there to have it up against that. I want a vegetable page in here too. So we'll put him next. Okay, and then I really like him. And even though it's this on the back side, this leaves you a wide open slate to put a picture over this or to paint over it, whatever you want to do. But I don't mind using these types of pages sometimes. Now I wouldn't use them a bunch, you know, because you don't want <laughs> you don't want that on every page. But I like this with the little chicken or rooster or whatever it is. So we'll put him there, and then we're gonna go back behind. The last design page, and I definitely want this in here because it says at the oops, I closed my binders, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so we'll put this page here, and then I really, really like this little bunny page, so I want him to be up against the very back. Of the journal and we're probably gonna have to fold this page all right and then what else do we want back here something with some color I really like this again it's just another page with a lot of words but how pretty is she this is um, supposed to be a uh, Betsy Ross. <laughs> I think. I don't know. You have to read it. Anyway. <laughs> okay, and I do want this one in here. So we're going to put in that bird pretty. I love the little birdhouse. And then I'm going to get my hair out of the way. Let's see. I think that may be all. No, let's put, I'm going to do this here, and I'm going to put another recipe page in here, and I think that may be it for now, because then we're going to go back through, and we're going to add some wrapping paper, and oh gosh, I forgot about this one. I don't know. We'll go back through. But anyways, I think that's where we're going to end this video because we're kind of pushing the 30-minute mark. Um, we're actually past the 30-minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, but that's kind of how I go through the process of figuring out where I want my pages in my books. So um, we'll go ahead and end the video here, and we'll come back in the next video, and we'll add some more pages and um, then we'll start working on um, doing some embellishments and putting our fabric pockets in, our fabric edges in, things like that. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to be able to work on on the next. See what I'm talking about though? When you open this book, and I'm definitely gonna have to fold some of these pages because they're sticking out. Um, but when you first open this book, I mean, that's pretty. It's just, it's eye-catching to me. So, anyways, we'll come back in the next video and work on it some more so you guys don't miss it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Leave me any comments or questions that you have below. Thank you all for the wonderful, wonderful comments that you've left so far. You've really, really made my day. And I really appreciate your response and your patience with my storytelling and all your love and support. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Big hugs.